Well, Democrats are now the party of educated elites. That was on budget. Somehow we missed the graphic. Rather than the working class whites and America's largest minority group. Mostly, well, the educated elites can afford to be Democrats now. Those are the issues they care about. This is from Axios. We're seeing a political realignment in real time. Josh Crashar, one of the smartest observers I know writing this, Democrats are becoming the party of upscale voters, concerned more about issues like gun control and abortion rights. Republicans are quietly building a multiracial coalition of working class voters with inflation as an accelerant. This throws just about everything we know about politics on its head. Hannah Trudeau is here, senior political correspondent for our partners uh, at The Hill. Okay. Um, so, in other words, gun control, abortion, some of these items, it's great to worry about them, but you can't afford to worry about that if you can't afford to put gas in your car. Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head earlier. Uh, it's, it's basically comes down to a choice. Do you focus on daily economic issues like inflation, which, which the poll indicates that Republicans have been doing quietly um, as Democrats have been sort of sleeping on that issue? Or do you focus on the more social, cultural issues, like you said, abortion, gun control, that are igniting, you know, the base, but certainly not expanding into the wider electorate, some of those independent voters or, you know, Republican voters that they would try to woo over in past election cycles and certainly would hope to in 2022 in November. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting, you know, this non-white uh, multiracial coalition that Republicans are very smartly building is, is something that should really send alarm bells to Democrats what are they doing um, about right it? now. They're, they're not doing much, as far as I can see. When I talk to strategists um, and, and certainly, you know, activists or folks in Biden world, they're basically just, just you know, throwing up their hands and saying, well, you know, we, we, we're trying to tackle inflation, we're trying to tackle gun control, we're trying to tackle abortion. And they have, you know, this, this sort of all balls up in the air approach, which is confusing a lot of people. And, and, and while they're doing that, Republicans are quietly working on these coalitions that, quite frankly, are needed to win swing states, swing districts. In November, it's coming right up. Uh, and I think that this poll shocked a lot of Democrats, to be honest. Well, the, the results of it speak for themselves. Um, this from Mike Allen. Uh, Dem fortunes are bolstered by a slice of well-off, socially liberal voters who disapprove of Biden's performance. This speaks about the 33% or so uh, approval rating, yet strongly support Democrats for other races. Uh, what happens and what are Democrats saying to you that they're going to do to hold on to that core? And what do they worry that could happen that they would lose it? Yeah, I mean, that's the interesting sort of conundrum right now, because Biden's approval rating is so, so low. It's in the low 30s right now, the worst, you know, that it's ever been and, and, and certainly worse than a lot of past presidents. And so Democrats are, are certainly aware of that, but they see those glimmers of hope, like you just uh, mentioned in the poll, that say, well, you know, people might not like him, the president, the leader of the party, but they seem willing to vote for these um, down ballot candidates in House and Senate races. Now, the one caveat I would say to that would be that's that's right now you know they're banking on a lot of these social issues to ignite voters and we're just not sure if, if it will i mean i talk to strategists um regularly at, ever since the the roe decision was overturned by the supreme court and they're still many are still adamant that abortion is going to be the saving grace for the democratic party uh when when that's not necessarily uh, known as of yeah. now and so, so same thing with gun control and so some of these issues you know they're well, really I'm, putting I'm, their the stake in that and and it's not clear if that's going to save them i'm thinking about what you're hearing from democrats on these issues specifically say you take hispanics that have been traditionally a uh, strong democratic you think uh, hillary clinton won 66 to 24 over uh then uh candidate trump uh, back in 2016 uh, now, Hispanic voters are a statistical toss-up between Democrats uh, and Republicans. How much of this is that there's a lot of middle-class, relatively socially conservative Hispanics and blacks that Republicans are picking off because Democrats have gone so liberal on abortion uh, and perhaps on transgender issues? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's really clear that the Democratic Party has a major issue with Latino voters. That's been clear since really the 2015 Democratic primary, um, when when Bernie Sanders, of all people, really 
picked off a lot of that coalition over Hillary Clinton and the wider Democratic Party just sort of missed it and kind of kept going. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been trending Republican ever since in, in terms of um, moving away. Now, Biden, you know, won Latino voters over over Trump last time around. Um, but it's but it's certainly like you mentioned, it's it's not a, a, a coalition that's that's a Democratic bloc anymore. And, and I think a lot of it is, um, you know, social issues are a component of it for sure. There's a lot of um, confusion and frustration over, you know, why are we focusing on this? Um, among Hispanic yes. voters and Latino voters. But I think um, even more so, it's it's getting back to those basic issues of, of economic um, insecurity. Yes, the Inflation right now is number one. I mean, if you cannot afford basic necessities, right. no, you then, then you can't afford to talk about a lot of other things, quite frankly. No, well, that, that was well said. If you can't afford uh, necessities, uh, you can't afford uh, to talk about really any any other issue. Uh, Hannah, great, great reporting from The Hill uh, as well. You went in depth on this on sort of the doomsday scenario for Democrats. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.